2025 is turning out to be a bad year for weather satellites. We just lost NOAA-18 due to a failure in the S-band radio system. That satellite was unexpectedly retired on very short notice. There have been rumors of NOAA 15 and 19 being retired. Those are no longer being used for operational data, although for now you can still listen to them as a radio amateur or as a amateur satellite enthusiast. And now it seems like we're losing yet another satellite program. As I film this on June 30th of 2025, today is supposedly the last day for information sharing with the Defense Meteorological Satellite Program or DMSP. Now, this is a program that operates a number of military weather satellites for the U.S. They're very similar to the NOAA Polar Orbiting Satellite Series. Many of them use the same technology, although DMSP satellites actually have a few other imagers, in particular a microwave imager, which is very useful for hurricane forecasting. And shutting down this program comes at kind of a terrible time because we're just getting into the hurricane season, and states like Florida, Texas, the South Gulf of the U.S., the East Coast of the U.S., those tend to be places where you want to know when there's a hurricane coming. I've talked about the DMSP satellites in the past. They're kind of an interesting leftover from the Cold War. They originated as a spy satellite for spy satellites, or at least a weather satellite for spy satellites, where the DMSP satellite would fly over somewhere like Moscow, check out the weather, and then a more high-resolution spy satellite would go over, and if the weather was good enough to see interesting things on the ground, that satellite would take a picture. In the early days, that would be with film, and then they would eject that film capsule over the U.S., parachute that down, the CIA would fly by and scoop it up with a plane, this whole program was conceived back in the 1960s when everybody was on drugs, so it sounds kind of insane today, but that's how they did things during the Cold War. Now, the DMSP satellites are still used for weather forecasting for both the U.S. military and, as I mentioned, for civilian weather programs like the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Because DMSP has some of these somewhat unique sensors, they can provide more information about things like hurricanes, about things like sea ice, and other interesting ground-based weather phenomenon or atmospheric-based weather phenomenon, things that uh, other NOAA satellites don't necessarily see or don't have as good of sensors for those particular uh, data points. Now, exact details about how this program is being shut down and what that means are a little vague. Similar to the NOAA satellite retirement that has been kind of ongoing this year, DMSP satellites will supposedly continue to operate and the military will continue to use their data, but they will just no longer be sharing that data with NOAA, with civilian forecasters. Now, the two remaining DMSP satellites that I can listen to are getting a little old. They are getting a little unreliable. This series of satellites has had a number of issues, battery fires, explosions, satellites breaking up in orbit. So they have had over 40 of these launched since the 1960s, and there are only two still in operation possibly three, although we'll try to get to that a little bit later in the video. Now, there are other satellites that provide some of this microwave data. NOAA satellites have similar sensors, although they are not as high resolution, and the Europeans have a few of these. Japan has a satellite like this, but the DMSP satellites provided about 50% of this microwave data for weather forecasting, and again, specifically for hurricane forecasting. So losing 50% of your hurricane data is kind of terrible if you're a weather forecaster, if you are a meteorologist, if you're someone concerned about hurricanes, if you live in Florida, if you live along the Gulf Coast, if you live somewhere that happens to see hurricanes on a regular basis. The DMSP satellites were also the ones that were really good at seeing city lights, and these are kind of the source of a lot of the Earth at night images that you might have seen floating around online. Maybe you have it set as your wallpaper on your computer. A lot of this data came from DMSP satellites because they were tuned to frequencies that could see things like that. Likewise, they were also really good at seeing northern lights or southern lights, the aurora. Now, as I've said, there are two DMSP satellites that I can hear with my radio equipment. These are on the microwave S-band, which is kind of where Wi-Fi lives, about 2.4 gigahertz. These DMSP satellites are around 2.25 gigahertz, and you can actually listen to these with a basic satellite dish if you have the right radio equipment. I have a software-defined radio, the HackRF1, which can go up as high as 6 gigahertz, and I can tune into it with a modified satellite dish. I'm using a hacked WineGuard Traveler dish. This came off of somebody's RV. I got it for free on Craigslist. And this is a motorized dish, so it will track and follow low Earth orbit satellites. 
So as the satellite is passing overhead, my dish tracks it, remains focused on that particular satellite, collects the radio signal coming down on S-band, and then I can run that through an open source program like SatDump and decode that into some interesting images. The DMSP images that come down on S-band are in a couple different channels. We have a visible channel, an infrared channel, and then a program like SatDump can kind of combine those into different colorized images, false color images, and do a little bit of processing on them. DMSP has an idiosyncrasy where it is encrypted for most of its orbit. So these two satellites, DMSP F-17 and F-18, are actually not available to most of the world. They stay encrypted for most of the orbit, and they turn that encryption off, supposedly over the poles, and then also over North America, but only about the north half of North America. So we're looking at DMSP F-18. That is just passing overhead, just a little bit to the east. And once it hits about this 60 degree mark, yep, there it just did. It switched from this encrypted signal to this unencrypted signal. So that is the change right there from encrypted to in the clear. And this signal we can actually decode with sat dump. So I'm recording that. We're gonna record the baseband. We've got a little bit more of this pass. We only ever get about two-thirds of the pass. The first third to the south is always encrypted when it's going north over North America. I've been talking to another local ham radio and satellite enthusiast named Nate who figured out how to kind of improve the images that SatDump puts out. I'll put some basic instructions to that down in the description of this video if it's something you're interested in. As I mentioned, some of the DMSP imagers are a little bit higher resolution than their equivalent NOAA image systems. So you get pretty nice pictures. You get a little bit more detail once you've fixed the image. You get to see a little bit more interesting stuff on the ground. And they're just really cool pictures. So the future for the DMSP satellite program looks pretty bleak when it comes to scientific use, civilian use, weather forecasting use. It will still be available for the military, although they are phasing out the DMSP satellites because these are kind of getting older. They're switching over to a newer satellite called WSFM, which I believe stands for Weather System Microwave Follow-On. And this satellite, as far as I can tell, does not decrypt over the U.S., although it might decrypt over the North and South Pole. I'm not really sure. And for amateur users like myself, for satellite hobbyists, it is also unclear what's going to happen with the DMSP program. Are these satellites going to be completely retired and turned off the way that NOAA 18 was? Again, we had kind of mixed information about the NOAA Polar Orbiting Satellite Series. There were some press releases recently saying that NOAA 15, 18, and 19 would be semi-retired in an operational standpoint, but would remain on. They would remain transmitting so people could get the information, they could get that live weather data, but they weren't supposed to rely on it because the satellites were getting old enough where maybe the instruments weren't quite reliable anymore. Then almost immediately, NOAA 18 suddenly had this issue and they said, oh, no, we're just going to turn it off, shut it down, and stop using it completely. Nobody can use NOAA 18 anymore. And the same thing could easily happen with DMSP. They're basically at the point where they're saying, we're not going to rely on these anymore. We're not going to share this data with the scientists anymore. And maybe they suddenly decide, well, we're just going to shut these off completely. There's been mixed information about why they're doing this change. Um, it is not supposedly for budget reasons. It's more for cybersecurity reasons. I don't quite understand that. These are basically publicly available satellites that you can download information from, again, anywhere in the US, anywhere in Northern North America. And I'm not really sure how sharing hurricane data with weather scientists is a cybersecurity issue. The justification for this really doesn't make sense to me. It, it seems more like the military and the US government wants to just eliminate scientific satellites or eliminate sharing of scientific data. So who knows what the real reason is. Now, I mentioned earlier there might be actually three active DMSP satellites. This is another thing that is not very clear. The military is not super straightforward or forthcoming about what they have available, what they have in orbit, if it's working or not. Um, there are two satellites, DMSP F-17 and F-18, that are well known. There are decoders for those in SatDump. There is information for those on the internet. But there's supposedly also another one that is still active or still being used by NOAA called DMSP F-16, and I couldn't really find much about it. I'm just giving DMSP F-16 a quick check because I saw that mentioned in a 2025 list of available satellites. I'm not seeing anything from this. I've actually checked this one before, 
but no signal on the usual frequency that these use. And we've got something around uh, 2.236 and 2.238 gigahertz. And there was some documentation saying it's active on 2222.5 megahertz uh, for the S-band real-time dump. I'm not seeing a signal on there. That satellite should be high enough that we're getting something if it's transmitting on S-band, but I am not seeing anything at the published frequency, so we might have to hunt around a little bit more. I noticed WSFM is in range here. That is the follow-on, the Weather Service follow-on microwave. I, I can't remember exactly what it stands for, but that's one of the replacements for the DMSP system. So I'm going to look at that one. I'm aiming the dish at it now, and we're going to see uh, if we can see anything on other frequencies in addition to the 2252.5 megahertz that this runs on. Yeah, my phone is starting to fog up here. It's kind of high humidity and high temperature out here in the garage, so the video is not the greatest. This actually looks a bit like a signal. It's kind of weak. Definitely seems to be strongest when I'm aimed at WSFM, and it seems to go away when I aim away from the satellite, so I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks a little bit more like a carrier than anything with modulated data. I've actually looked for a number of the other DMSP satellites that are still in orbit to see if any of them are still transmitting, and I, I've not really found much from those. I was hoping maybe there was an undocumented DMSP transmitter up there still sending down weather data, but I was not able to find one of those when I looked in the past. All right, this is about the third time I've recorded this clip because I am not awake yet. These darn military satellites always come over at like 6.30 a.m., 7 a.m., um, and three of them have, are coming over at once here. DMSP, F-16, F-17, and WSFM are all coming over kind of simultaneously. So I'm looking at frequency info, so I'm going to jump between them a little bit, and I won't be probably decoding any images, but we're going to try to see what frequencies they're on. I rushed out here this morning without my regular camera and tripod, so I'm filming this segment on my phone. Maybe I said that already, too. DMSP F16. I looked for it on the radio spectrum. I found telemetry data from it, but I didn't really find any scientific data, any payload data. So I'm not quite sure what's going on with that one. So again, these are supposed to be shutting down today, June 30th. In fact, I think uh, by UTC time or GMT time, they have already stopped sharing this data. Although the satellites, I think, are still in operation. So as I was editing this video, I checked my Discord, and there is a very recent update from this morning about a change to the whole situation. Um, so now the DMSP program is supposedly going to keep sharing data until the end of July. So it was going to shut down today, but there was a request from NASA that it continue operating for at least another month. And there was some kind of note about a cybersecurity risk to the high-performance computing environment that is run by the Fleet Naval Operations Communications Center. I don't quite know all the details, and again, there really are not many details published. Hopefully they can figure out this cybersecurity issue or whatever it is that's going on and keep DMSP available because it always helps to have more scientific data for weather forecasting, and it helps get more accurate weather forecasts and more accurate up-to-the-minute uh, hurricane information. So that is the very latest update on the DMSP situation that I know about, and again, I'll try to do a follow-up video if something major changes. I hope this has been an interesting video for everyone. I pushed this out on a pretty short timeline because this was something that happened last minute with basically no warning. The U.S. government has been doing this a lot lately where they just change things with no warning, with no real thought put into it. And yeah, unfortunately that is a trend now. So I'm kind of reacting to this a little bit because uh, I wanted to do something a little timely about the DMSP program. It's been a popular topic on this channel before, so I wanted to just address some of those press releases that had come out and some of the news articles about this. If you liked this video and want to see more current events about satellite topics, consider supporting me on Patreon. That is a great way to help me grow the channel and keep on top of sh short notice, last minute things like this. Check out my other videos for more satellite topics and stay tuned to see what we come up with in the future. Thank you to everyone for watching and we'll see you next time.